Okay, um, I don't know if you remember the last book video I did. I'm trying to think. I put these puffs in, didn't I? Um, and I was looking through these pages and I decided that this page needed something else. So I just thought today I'd add something to here and I've cut the pages out that I need to finish all of these books. So hopefully they won't be too long coming now. Um, I'm just still in the mindset of doing them as and when and not, not setting aside my time until they're completely finished because I like to think about them and come back and I like to do other things and come back. So what I thought I'd do with this page, I'm going to put some of this uh, snippet lace cloth on it. So I'm just going to cut a long strip. Um, not bothered if it's straight or not. I mean I want it kind of straight and I want it quite thin but Apart from that, I'm not really uh, fussed. Maybe that's not the right word, but I'm quite open to... Uh, oh, that'll be all right. Again, I can't say too much about this cloth because I make it in class, so... Right. So if I put that on there, I don't know, I was thinking it might need something here as well. Um, I've got a stitching at the back of there that's coming from there. So I'd obviously have to consider that. But if I stitch this bit in first and then see, I just think it might be nice to have something down there, maybe a little narrower than that. Well, I'm already threaded here, so I'll just use this. And I'm literally just going to tie it in, um, simple as that. Oh, what's on the other side? I see now I've got that on the other side. Um, doesn't matter though, it really doesn't matter. It'd be nice having a little tie coming through that. Just means it's going to be hard to get the needle through. Just do a little one there. And then tie it in a knot like that. Oops, do another one. Cut them off and do another one at the bottom. That doesn't want to go through. Oh, that's because that's still on the other side. But it's okay. No damage done apart from the hole. And like I said, it doesn't matter. I like the fact that there's a tie visible on this side. And I'll have to re-thread a little bit more if I want to put some on the other side of there. So, cut that off. So I don't know, I think because that's quite a dark print, that's why I'm thinking I need something on the other side. Um, I'll thread my needle first and then I'll, oh, I've got a sore finger. Uh, it's got a cut in it and I just caught the thread on it. Um, I'll find the end. So I'll cut a bit of thread first, thread my needle and then I'll cut a tiny sliver of this cloth to go down that side and place it on without stitching it and have a look, see what I think when I've done that. So I could maybe do it a little bit shorter than the one I've just done. Definitely thinner. Let's have a look at this bit. It's just a lovely texture. It just adds a really nice texture. So perhaps... Yeah, I like that. I don't like it over here. I like it there. And then that is still slightly liftable. In fact, 
So I'm going to stitch it to this and not through the page at that point. And then that will still be liftable. Get the new core at the top. is probably sufficient you know I'm just uh, oh, extra extra cautious so I would hate for you to buy this and then start using it and everything falling out of it right, so if I stitch this to this little bit of paper I'm going to come back and tie this one on the top just to be a little bit different Like that because I don't know what kind of uh, just like me. Right, so what I like about that is you can still lift it, but that's almost like a fastening on that little print. So that actually, I'm really glad I did that. That's worked really well. So now this book, I think, still needs another double page. So let's have a look. Gingham, Googling, French knots. That's lovely, even though that's the back of the French knots, it's still lovely. And I may put some um, graph paper there. Got a little bit of white paper work here. Then that page that I've just done. Then doodling and Suffolk puffs. More doodling, probably graph paper there. Graph paper there. So that's three, so it needs another double page. So you know, there's still quite a bit to do just in this one, and then I've got another two to do after this. Um, so what I might do there, I've got some painted sheets that I did a long time ago, kind of like a stock of paper things to use for things like this. So I may put a bit of that on there and something more substantial over here perhaps um a button maybe a button would be nice wouldn't it over here but not just a normal button i'll see if i've got any fabric covered buttons to put over there and so you know there's still quite a bit they're quite involved you might not think if you look at four blank pages well eight blank pages with four double fold overs you've got if i do So there's four pages here, right? One, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen sides to fill. So it is quite a quite a task really. Um one that doesn't daunt me that i enjoy but you know a lot of thinking about so that's that one so far okay um and that's that that i, just, I do really you might find that that happens in one of the others because i like how that looks 